four months ago, he barely had a product. Now in November, CEO Keith Raboy has set an ambitious goal for his team at Open Store, close the year on a pace of acquiring one new Shopify-based business each day. That will prove to me, when we get there and we're doing this in an automated way, that we have a mechanical machine that can scale, that's the goal of this quarter. But unfortunately the quarter's already X days in, so back to work. Founded in March, Open Store is doing everything in a hurry. The startup launched with backing from Founders Fund, where Ravoy is an investment partner, and startup studio Atomic. In June, it reached a reported $250 million valuation after raising $30 million in a round led by Kosla Ventures pre-launch. Open Store has raised $75 million in a Series B funding round led by General Catalyst, the company says. Atomic, Founders Fund, and Costla Ventures, which led its series in just five months ago, all participated. Following the investment, Open Store is now valued at $750 million, a source with knowledge tells Forbes, tripling the company's valuation over the same short period. Launched after a holiday conversation between Raboy and fellow Miami transplant and friend Jack Abraham, Atomic's co-founder, Open Store's basic premise is to use software to quickly evaluate, price and make offers on long-tail merchants selling through the Shopify platform, typically with single D. Open Store then hopes to leverage its technology and superior resources to bolster the sales of the acquired product lines, eventually combining them under one e-commerce brand that Ravoy compares to Wish at all price points, or Wayfair for all shopping verticals. Leveraging economies of scale can improve margins on such products and allow Open Store to reduce prices, Ravoy says, accelerating adoption with consumers. The merchants fully sell their business, this is no venture capital equivalent, or new form of financing, they cash out completely. But Open Store's founders see themselves as the good guys in that scenario. In an interview, Abraham said he first got the idea after he was asked by a founder he mentored how she could easily sell her company, a maker of organic skincare products. 